Apparently there's been news coming out that Dispatch has leaked things and this is all alleged but let's talk about it and what this is about. We also have people saying that the new Jimin and JK travel show might have some raunchy stuff in there and then we have a platform Apple Music being under controversy. So you don't mean to save your side but let's get into it. Apparently there's some controversy with Apple Music and what's happening with that. So a lot of people have been on this debate for a while saying that JK is the label's favorite artist. And the backstory behind why people think that is simply because they felt like he got pushed the most. He was the one that was working directly with Scooter Braun. He was the one that was getting ads. He was the one that was most prevalent on American talk shows and American radio. Now, when people made these accusations, one thing that they didn't account for within those accusations is simply just that JK had the most English songs. He had the most standard pop sound, and he had that sound that was very much well recognized within the American pop. And if you close your eyes and you listen to the song on the radio, you might not even know it's coming from a Korean person who doesn't really speak English. And I think the only other person that did release some songs in English was V, and you can definitely tell that this was a non-native English speaker. Of course, I don't want to get into that debate too much, but there's been a lot of controversy around that, and now people have been flipping the script to say that JK is actually not the label's favorite just from this one situation that happened with Apple Music. Apple Music apparently has not combined the streams that JK has. So for example, his song 7 has the explicit version and then the clean version. People were very upset as Apple Music seems to be counting the streams from those songs separately. And then apparently if you look at what's going on with Jimin or some of the other artists, every time a song is released, whether that's a remix or whatever it is, it seems like Jimin gets an additional couple million streams. So it almost appears like it's easy for him to stay longer on the charts and to continue climbing the charts. There's a couple of things like a remix and combining those streams, to me at least, makes a lot of sense because it's literally the same song and it just kind of makes sense. They're not really different songs, but combining a clean and explicit version does not make sense to me, which is why I think Apple Music has not done that. The clean version is going to be the one that gets the most airtime. It's going to be the one that gets played more commercially, like radio or TV. So that naturally could potentially have more streams than the explicit version. It could be the one that parents might look up to show their kids. It's not going to be the exact same song, and those streams could be coming from a more mainstream audience and an audience that is listening to radio or whatever. So to include that into the explicit version is technically not fair because it's not the same audience. They're coming from different places. Also then the clean version is getting radio push, which things like remixes, explicit versions, and whatever are not necessarily getting. That's my opinion on why those things should not be combined. However, a lot of people are upset. So they're tweeting at the label, they're tweeting at Apple Music, saying for the streaming platform to combine the streams so that JK could have more streams, and is also saying that it hasn't been fair for him and he's not actually the favorite. And to that I say, yeah, JK is not the favorite, but he's not not the favorite because of all these things. He's not the favorite simply because a label or a company doesn't have a favorite. Their favorite is whatever is going to push the needle for them. And almost most of the time, that's money. And that's not a bad thing. That's just what a company needs to survive. Now, kind of controversial, maybe a little bit scary type of news that has come out is that apparently the label has leaked some information to Dispatch. This is a huge Korean news site. This is alleged because even if Dispatch is coming out and saying it's true, it could just be something that they're saying is true and it's not. Everything is alleged. We haven't heard it directly from the label. We don't know. But I think it's really interesting how this is coming out and what is being allegedly leaked. So there's a lot of drama going on with the label as well as Min Hee Jin and that situation has been well documented. I'm not going to get into that too much but there were definitely a lot of issues with that and apparently there has been a lot of information coming out that a lot of people aren't sure how it's getting out. And I want to preface this because I feel like a lot of people don't really think about this but when you see like let's say a celebrity coming out of their apartment or coming out of the supermarket most people wouldn't know when the celebrity is coming out of their apartment. Most people wouldn't know where their apartment is and most people definitely wouldn't know what supermarket they're going to. However, when a paparazzi is called and they take a picture, that's how they know. So that is something that people don't think about. They tend to think, oh, well, maybe the party found, paparazzi found them. But really, you'd have to be so famous in order to get paparazzi like that and most celebrities are not 
that. So the same goes in that situation. There's a lot of things like private text and those sort of things where people are kind of like, well, how did this even come out? Who is leaking it? Is it like a staff person from the label or like where is this information coming from? Well, allegedly there have been some texts trying to make Min Hee Jin look bad that have come from the label. Like allegedly the label has leaked it to dispatch. And the reason why people think this is, is because it's credited in the photo or the screenshot of the text that this is coming from the label themselves. And it was to get the public opinion to turn on Min. As opposed to right now, the public opinion is looking really bad for the label. We shall see what happens and what people's opinions are going to be if this is true and stuff like this is happening. But you have to understand there's so much going on within the label. If someone is leaking stuff, that's just one person in the label that's leaking stuff. You don't know if this was approved by the board, which likely it would not be. You don't know if it was the CEO leaking this stuff. It could literally just be someone from one of the PR teams that is just trying their best to remedy the situation and they did this. And if they did do it, this, maybe they would get fired or whatever it is. I say this because when you see stuff like this, don't assume that the label is bad or as a whole over potentially just one person's actions. However, the community loves to do that where they'll take someone's assumption or someone's tiny bad thing that they did and assume and generalize it with everything if that even makes any sense. For example, right now there's a lot of rumors that the Are You Sure Jimin and JK travel show is going to consist of a lot of flirting between the two of them, as well as a lot of romantic moments. Now I think a lot of that is just wishful thinking within the community, but I think a lot of that is also people actually believing that that is something that would happen. And what the community often does is when they make generalizations or when they assume things, those things not only come true because of their assumption, but it's just all around not actually happening. So what do I mean by that? I mean, they will quite literally assume that something will happen and then believe that any tiny thing is actually it happening, when in reality, that's not actually the case. For example, one of those things obviously is the flirting. But people believe that they're going to be kissing or touching each other or that there's going to be a lot of romantic moments that are coming out of this show to even some people believing that this is the whole point of the show, which is that we finally get to see their romantic relationship together. And I think that this is going to cause a lot of resentment when they don't see it or it's going to cause a lot of delusion when they don't see it but then believe that every little tiny thing is that. This is something that I feel like not a lot of people talk about and definitely not a lot of people really even acknowledge, which is that when men are interested in someone romantically or otherwise, it's very hard for them to hide that. They will make it fully known. And I don't mean like little things like looking at each other or those tiny things. I mean like full on, they will take any opportunity to kiss you. They will try to do anything to be with you romantically. Obviously these things can be argued and said, well, maybe they did happen and just were not put in the video. But you can tell when two people are together versus when they're just really close friends and enjoy touching each other and stuff. You also have to consider that there is a cultural barrier where two guys touching each other is not actually considered gay in specific cultures. With all of that included, you have to kind of sit there and really think, hey, maybe this is just them playing or having fun or, or maybe they're considered like brothers. And it's kind of sad to me when I see some of the people who are this obsessed with someone else's relationship that has yet to be confirmed. And it could be real. They could actually love each other more romantically. However, it's not confirmed. And so everything that is being said as rumors or as confirmation is just speculation. And so to be this deeply invested in something that is speculation is not always the, hel the healthiest thing. And it's definitely not the best use of time because these would be the same people if there's any evidence to go against their relationship fantasy. They would be so angry that they will leave the community, they will send death threats to the members, and you really can't be a person who gets this obsessed to any specific thing that if anything even slightly touches that fantasy, you're like ruined. Your whole world comes crashing down. You're furious. In finance, they talk about not putting all your eggs in one basket in terms of how you make your money. And I see this almost in the same way, where your happiness is coming from a fantasy that has yet to be proven. And even if it was proven, people can break up, and that could potentially be seen as too much for you to, too much for someone to handle. Who is this obsessed? Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for the comment right here. Love you. Bye.